Wait, what's that new icon? Is that a home icon? Home link? Oh, she. Hey everyone, so today I'm talking about home link in my Tesla Model 3. So yes, I am in a Model 3. So as you can see in this screen format here, it's the landscape one, so it is a Model 3. And I am in Australia. And as you may know, uh, the Model 3 no longer comes with home link. And I think a lot of the Tesla cars don't come with Homelink anymore. Now, because I got this car when it first arrived in Sydney, um, for a short period of time, the early models had Homelink included, but my car didn't actually have the hardware installed. So after my recent uh, service, they went and installed Homelink free of charge for me. So if you do have an earlier Model 3, uh, you may be eligible for a retrofit that is free. So. In this video, I'm just gonna talk about setting up Homelink and what you can do with it. So let's get into it. So this is the owner's manual. Uh, it just tells you, you know, how to actually set it up and the different modes it supports. So standard mode, uh, that's the one I'm gonna be using uh, because I do have an older garage door. Basically, um, it just sends one signal and then the door opens. Uh, a newer one has, um, you know, like rolling codes and so on that you have to tell the garage door to learn your car. So I don't have that, so I won't be going through that. So let's get that started. We're gonna close this and we're gonna go up here. So there is the home link icon. If you just tap on that, there is the create home link option. Tap on that and then just give this thing a name. So I'm just gonna give it a cryptic name. All right, there we go. Enter. All right, so it's a standard mode. That's the one we're gonna use. That's what I mentioned. It's the most basic one. So set mode. Right, so before we begin, uh, basically you wanna park your car in front of the garage and have the garage door remote ready. So I have a remote here. So my garage door is called B and D. That's the model of the garage door. Uh, I think this brand is kind of popular in Australia. Uh, it, my garage door is a bit older one, so you know, you might not have the same one. But I think the frequency range that it works with is uh, 433.92. So I'm not sure if you can read that. Um, but that's the frequency range that this garage remote works with. So let's click start here and it says please wait. So now we have to go to the front of the car and press this thing. So I'm going to program my first door over there. So let's get out of the car. Okay, so standing in front of the car now, I'm just going to hold this button. And as you hold it, the lights are meant to flash. So nothing is happening. The door is open actually, so I'm gonna try that again. Press and hold. Press and hold. Press and hold. There we go. So that means it has learnt the signal or the frequency that this uh, garage door opener works with. So let's get back into the car and see what it says. Okay back in the car now so it says recording complete tap continue to move to the next step all right so let's go ahead and do that continue and basically it says test the new home link so that little drop down thing came down uh, that's the name i gave it so if i tap this now it should open that door there so let's try that uh, there. doing a little flashy thing and there it is the door is opening so if i tap it again it should stop Try that again. So tap it again. It stopped opening. Let's try that again. And the door is now closing. So that's it. If you have a really basic garage door like myself, uh, basically just using the standard mode works. So we're just gonna click save. And that's it. All right, so with that done, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff. You can make it so that when your car approaches your house, for example, uh, it will automatically open the door. And you can also make it so that when you leave your house, it will automatically um, close the door for you. So again, I think it's in the home link settings and here, and then there's auto, auto open when arriving. So that's the setting here. You can tick that. And then, you know, when you get close, it will start opening the door for you. Uh, you can also do auto close when leaving as well. So I'm gonna keep that off. Uh, I'm just gonna use this as is for now. And maybe after a while, you know, I might get comfortable with it and I might start um, using the auto options down there. Now the reset location down here, that's if uh, you want to reset the location at which point the door will open. So let's say um, maybe you set this up 
while you're on the street and it was a little bit too far away from the actual point where you want the auto you know settings to start happening you can actually drive to the place you want tap reset and then it will recenter that position for you now apart from the auto opening the door when you get home and auto closing the door when you leave the house down here in the summon section so if you go to autopilot and then customize summon there is a use auto home link option so with that turned on when you try to summon the vehicle out of the garage uh, it will automatically open the door the garage door that is and then it will roll the car out for you okay now there is one final thing that changes after you get home link installed and that's on the phone app so if you go to controls uh, there is now an extra button on the bottom right corner so in the second row there it's home link so the idea behind that is we should be able to tap that and then say yes and the car should be able to actually uh, open the door for you so for example if you're at home and you need to open the garage door from upstairs or whatever you can tap that from the app and it's meant to open but unfortunately uh, no matter what I do I can't actually get this to work it says move closer to your vehicle so I'm actually sitting in the car so let's try that again so home link, this will trigger it remotely. Yes, move closer to your vehicle. So I don't know if it must use the GPS or something. So I could try killing the app and try again. So let's do that. Okay, I have killed the app and I've reopened it. So let's try that again. Controls, uh, home link, trigger it remotely. And it says move closer to your vehicle. So not quite sure what's going on there. But I mean, maybe it's a bug, but hopefully they get this fixed. Uh, this is quite useful, I think. Okay, so after fiddling around with the app for a little bit, uh, I noticed that there is actually a home link icon in the top right corner of the summon screen as well. Now this one actually works. So if I tap that, up there, the little thing shows up and then my door is actually closing now. And if I tap it again, oops. Go summon. Okay, if I tap it again, up here. Again, it activates and my garage door is reopening itself. So there must be something, you know, up with the app. Hopefully they get that sorted. Um, otherwise, you know, you can always do it from the summon option here. But for this to work, you actually have to be close to the car. So that's a bit, um, bit of a bummer. So that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope it was useful and thanks for watching. So if I press yes, that's not working as expected.